goes to Ten Commandments of Successfully Working with Artists. And if you're a writer and you want to create comics and you want to work with artists, these are probably like the ten best rules or commandments or guidelines that I could give people that might be interested. Thou shalt not chase pinup or cover artists to draw your comic. This one hurts. Um, there, there's beautiful pinup arts out there. There's beautiful, beautiful cover artists out there. But in regards to actually making a comic book, if someone does not have several sequential art page samples in their portfolio, take a deep breath, keep them in mind for a potential pinup or cover commission, and move on. Because no matter what you say or they say, this person will never finish drawing your comic script ever. Ever! Now, if you think that you can prove me wrong, please do. I would love to be proven wrong on this. But drawing a pinup and drawing a cover is a completely different skill set than, draw, than telling a story in pictures. They're totally two different things. It's like being right-handed and left-handed in a lot of ways. You can do a lot of things with your right hand you can't do with your left, and vice versa if you're one-hand dominant. And, 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 and I tell you this, I'm not being holier than thou. I've done it. You know, I've done it. You know, I, I, someone does a, a beautiful painter. Beautiful. She does gorgeous work. She mainly does fantasy paintings. And she said, I really want to do comics. I said, I would love to do comics with you. You know, we were friends and stuff. And wrote an eight-page script, very simple. Uh, four panels per page. Four times eight is, <laughs> oh, you good at your eight, good. That's not a lot, because the real cool story, big open panels, boom, 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 nice. Gave it to the artist, and waited, waited, did some thumbnails, and they were gorgeous. Each one was like a little pinup. You see where this is going, right? <laughs> you know, okay, cool, man, let's get, yeah, 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 we're going, we're jamming, we're jamming. And I wait, and eventually a panel got done. Gorgeous. Fully rendered. Pan I can see the panel in my head to this day. I still have the samples on my computer. Sometimes I just look at them. I'm like, ah, yeah. the, uh, the, the panel borders were like ornately decorated. So each panel was like a little pinup. Got about a page done. That's like four pinups, four mini pinups. And things started to really slow down after that and slow down to the point where it, it just kind of, oh, well, I'm going to get to that, I'm going to get to that. I actually held on to that script and saved it for her for uh, about five years. I know there's stuff going on, so it's not like I was just waiting, you know, drooling my thumbs. But it just, because, and the other thing is I couldn't find another artist. I catered this script to this style. And years later, I, I uh, another artist picked it up and worked on it, and it's in, uh, it's in Nightmare World. And I'm still friends with the pinup artist. We just don't talk about that thing anymore. Someday what's going to happen is she's going to like give me the whole thing. Like, I finally finished it. Here you go. And I'll be like, oh, just kidding. She'll never finish it. That's fine. <laughs> We're still cool, but she has done covers and stuff for me, which is gets those done no problem. Because that's what she's good at.